Ach, das Mike's Daily Podcast. FF Episode 1980. 1980, my friend. What a year. Mike's Daily Podcast. Reagan became president. The hostages got let go. And then things started going crazy. Because people, they got jeans that were acid wash. And their hair was all frizzy. And then they decided to watch a lot of sitcoms. Like, wasn't a, what was that one in 1980? Was it Facts of Life? Was that the... Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, now it's all cloudy to me. Shoot, 1980. I thought I was going to spout all kinds of fascinating facts. Mike's About 1980. Daily. But basically... Podcast. It was a year where... Yeah! Some of the 70s was still going on. It was, it was, oh, Studio 54, wasn't that 1980? You can tell me a 1980 story if you have one. You can call me at, oh, Stranger Things, was that 1980? No, maybe that was a little later. 336MM Daily, you can call me 3 plus 3 equals 6MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in what this podcast wasn't. <laughs> Yesterday, anyway, I was invited to a wonderful party where food was plentiful and bountiful and delicious roasted potatoes wow that's delicious and there was a fine uh, turkey meat sort of pork thing going on and I enjoyed that but then I got home and suddenly it dawned on me I gotta get up at six tomorrow that's the problem of hanging out with your friends really late. Oh, you know what's something that these wonderful friends of ours did? Since my lovely lady friend really likes cats, and because we don't have one, because we have the wonderful Basil the Boxer who will bark for you momentarily, they gave us one of these cats. They're, they're a fake cat. They're, uh, I guess, kind of a therapy fake cat. It's basically just this little doll that looks like a cat, and it's belly. And here's today's podcast picture. Goes up and down like it's breathing. I don't have a picture of that in the podcast picture. We still haven't named the cat. Any cat name suggestions, you can call me 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in one of this podcast. We'll try to be for the next couple of days. Actually, I got to be up really early tomorrow. So I will actually be bringing you a podcast within 24 hours of this podcast inside of 24 hours. But this cat has a, it's a, got a purring sound, this mechanical cat. And it's just, it's got a little bed that it lays on. And we showed it to the Basil. And he said this. He wanted to eat this fake cat. <laughs> no, he was kind of interested. He sniffed it. And of course, as soon as they sniff it, they go, no, that's not it. That's not, that's not what it looks like. Stop it, Mike. So yeah, my lovely lady friend loves it, and what a thoughtful Valentine's Day pre-birthday gift for her, as her birthday is coming up soon. Valentine's Day. Some people say Valentine's Day. We have a character here, Valentino, the parking attendant. It's kind of he's kind of got the Valentine in his name. But do, do, do we spend too much money on Valentine's Day? You can't really... I mean, I think you just have to take it as an excuse to celebrate your love. To celebrate how wonderful someone is. If you're not seeing anyone, celebrate the love of yourself. Celebrate the fact that you, you're pretty dang special. And you got through a lot of crap. And kids, by crap, I mean, you know, the stuff that you find in the toilet. That's uh, gotta be... No, wait. The guy that made the toilet is what I meant to say. Crapper was his name As we've mentioned before Oh shoot, right now I am missing 21st Amendment has a special media night going on right now And I'm missing it Kevin, who works there Who possibly listens to this podcast Or is listening to this podcast Kevin, I hope it went well And uh, I just am with you in spirit In a weird sort of time warp sort of way But the fact is That Valentine's Day, it is a nice way you can throw gesture. I am an awful gift giver. I have a tough time coming up with stuff. I I think I put too much pressure on myself. Plus, I was in a relationship for a long time where the person really didn't like any of the presents I gave her. So, 
I kind of, I, it's, it's a, it's what, it's what, a, it's, it's given me a complex. So the fact is, I have to just go into a store and find, or Amazon or whatever place online you like to go shopping on and find stuff that would make her happy and then give it to her because it comes from my heart. And yes, at some point you have to go, oh, I have to buy a Hallmark card. Even though I actually, this cat came from Hallmark. So, and my lovely lady friend loves it. So I guess Hallmark is probably not the evil empire. And the TV shows on Hallmark Channel. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Hallmark Channel, for great. You, you pulled all those people out of the sitcoms from 1980. And from the late 80s And from all these shows in the early 90s And these people You're like oh my gosh that's what happened to that person That's what happened to the guy from Dukes of Hazard. That's what happened to the gal from Well the gal from Full House is now in jail Or is she But you know all the Oh the, the young lady from the, 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 the one The Wonder Years Thank you She's on a lot of them And she's like that mega mathematician And she's written books for teaching children math And she's brilliant Oh she was also on How I Met Your Mother She had a recurring character But the thing is That we find something to give someone And you you can be inventive Maybe you want to cook for your loved one My lovely lady friend gave me a little bottle Full of all these fun things that we've done together and have yet to do That was awesome So there I Don't put pressure on yourself If you Do not have anyone Do something nice for yourself Go out to that movie you want to see Go outside a cafe anyway Where you're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley In Podcastro Valley today And the podcast picture is by the way From seven years ago I was at Berkeley I did something nice for myself Seven years ago I was not having a very good year In 2013 I was going through a divorce So I did something nice for myself And I hopped on BART And I went to Berkeley And I walked around the campus Because I honestly don't know the campus that well I went to a different UC campus I went to UC Santa Barbara Which is also beautiful But UC Berkeley was the first one And has all this history and all these, these cool, all this cool architecture So I walked around, took a bunch of pictures And this picture was one of the ones I took Up on, oh, what's that street? Is it uh, college? No the, That's how bad I know Berkeley It's the street, it goes up you, you take it as you go up towards the Greek theater, I think And I was at one of the buildings Sitting on top of one of the buildings there And looking out at this view of the Golden Gate Bridge And the sun was setting And it was a very hazy day So you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com Hey, so there's this really smart person That works over at Washington Hospital And she's part of the rehab clinic And a shout out to everyone Everyone who works at rehab clinics everywhere You have a very difficult job And you have helped a lot of people that I know And thank you because you, you, your patience and your brilliance is just life changing. Thank you. But what she had to say, Alisa, Alisa Curry, she works over at Washington Hospital, she said, Work smarter, not harder. This is how to avoid accidents so you don't have to come see her. Uh, use your body larger muscles to lift heavy things. Your, your body's larger muscle This means bringing things closer to you With your arms And bending your knees To lift up With your leg muscles Instead of bending at the waist And lifting with your back Not that strong of a muscle I mean you can do what you can To engage your core And make it better and all that But seriously in the end Use the big muscles The legs Or if you got big pythons For arms Lift the You know but, but lift smarter It's important to stretch regularly For Im- improved flexibility Not just during Well you know what I do not flex do, Don't do any kind of stretching 
uh, I, I mean, I am not flexible. <laughs> As a human being, I'm pretty flexible, and I can adapt to many different types of circumstances that life throws at us. But the stretching thing, I never liked it. Some people are fantastic at it, and they do yoga, and they can touch the, their head to their knees when they're sitting on the ground and doing the, the yoga stretches and whatnot. I hate it. I can't do it. I've never been able to do it, and it frustrates me. So stop telling me to do it, paper. I think I got this from the What's Happening Tri-City Voice. A wonderful paper. I once met the publisher of that paper. Very nice guy. I think his name's Bill. Exercise regularly to build and maintain strength. Oh no. I do not like this next sentence. Do planks for core strength, which supports your spine. No. I hate planks. <laughs> But apparently it helps your core. Uh, Light to moderate hand weights or resistant bands are also great for strengthening. Okay, I can handle that. Light to moderate hand weights. Low cost. And you know what? I, I don't know if this is true with you. When you get to the age 50, if you haven't thrown out a bunch of stuff in your life, not like my lovely lady friend who's thrown out a bunch of stuff and moved on from things in her life, and kudos to her. But still, I have not thrown out a bunch of stuff. So you know what? I've acquired a lot of weights. And yes, there is some weight on my body that I would like to unacquire, but weights in general to help you work out. And I use them. I try to, if I see a weight that I have not used in a while or a dumbbell, oh wait, they don't like to be called dumbbells anymore. They like to be called weights. I will try and lift it up and go, hey, Mike, let's make this a regular thing, lifting this thing. And I just, I don't hide, I do not hide my weights. <laughs> I do not hide my weight either. I don't wear a shirt. So people see my belly. No, I'm kidding. Weights. I hide the belly for sure. Hide the belly. But the weights. <laughs> Wait. I'm almost done saying weights. Um, I leave those out around the house. Of course, not in the middle of the, actually, I did one time trip over one of my weights and that hurt like heck. But, uh, yeah, I, I go, it's just to remind me. It's just a physical reminder. I need to do some physical lifting. Um, and, okay, take extra care when traveling. Use luggage with wheels. You know, I hurt my back so bad in 2000. 2000, that's right. I remember I was taking a road trip from Ventura, the Ventura County area, up to the Bay Area. And I remember lifting this suitcase I had in and out of the car, and I hurt my back so badly. I was in just crazy pain. So this is a good suggestion. Use luggage with wheels. While sitting on a plane, place a pillow or rolled up jacket behind your lower back for comfort and support. Because we, we push ourselves too hard when we travel. And we put ourselves in some crazy situations and we're being, you know, surrounded by people that are sick. So be good to yourself. Finally, recognize your limits and get help. Ask neighbors, friends, or family members for assistance with cooking, decorating, and running errands. Don't try, don't try and do it all yourself. Don't try and cook everything. And to, Okay, maybe this article was written during the holidays. Maybe that's why they said that last part because that did sound kind of weird, but... But accidents still happen. Sometimes the symptoms of a pulled muscle or sprained back are obvious right away, and other times the pain comes on more slowly. Over-the-counter pain management solutions such as ice packs, heat wraps, and medicated patches can help ease discomfort during th this time. When back pain persists for more than a week, visit your doctor for therapeutic, rec ther ther therapeutic recommendations and to rule out something more serious. It's important to find the root of the problem instead of just treating the symptoms. That's a great article. Good advice. Hey, look who's outside of Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Oh, yeah. Hello, Michael Masuts, man. I have had some bad back problems sometimes. Oh, really? Did you sprain your back while you were skiing? Yes. Did you hurt your back while you were lifting a piano? Yes. Did you hurt your back 
while trying to lift Basil the boxer like I have often done? Yes. Did you hurt your back while having a fun love session with Leslie Nielsen? No. And that's not what I heard. Look who else is here. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we was hearing you talking about Valentine's Day, and we got some great Valentine gift suggestions. Day. Yeah, gift suggestions on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Do you know that? All right, what is it? You can give your beautiful loved one day a pillow. A brand new pillow. Okay. I think that is a good idea. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's that my pillow guy that makes so much money. He puts a lot of money into radio. Why don't you put money into my podcast? But there, yeah, pillows. That's a good idea. All right. Don't know where that came from, but thank you. Pillows, my pillows, they. Yeah, pillows. Do you know that? And then uh, every Valentine's Day, you can change out the pillow because it. Pillows get gross after a while. I guess you're right. All right. Let's wrap up the show. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. I guess I'm going to be doing that show in about 10 hours or so. Yikes. Tell your friends about the podcast um, because that's otherwise no one listens to it. And then you, no one will hear all the wonderful birds chirping in the background. And no one will hear my thoughts And my little tips To help you with your life And all that stuff Alright, here's Ariel Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced And performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show And read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com Email Mike now At mikesdailypodcast At gmail.com See you tomorrow, bye